Give us the main points coming out of the budget. The one number that jumped at me was uh, uh, this large deficit, 11.2% for the latest fiscal year. Yes, the main points coming from the budget is actually a message of fiscal restraint. After two or three fiscal years of expansionary budgets, the minister has clearly indicated that we've had enough of it. It's time to consolidate and to position the economy for longer term sustainable growth. Uh, the budget deficit for the past fiscal year, it turned out to be higher than budgeted for at 11.5%. And it was mainly due to revenue shortfalls. Uh, for the medium term, the ministry has helped a lot actually by uh, windfall revenue from SACO. SACO revenue is projected to double in this current fiscal year. And as a result of that, uh, the ministry is still able to, to spend as anticipated in the previous MTEF. Uh, but the budget deficit is projected to come down to about 4.4% of GDP. Yeah. When I Another compare though, message, the budget, John, when I compare that budget deficit versus South Africa, with which Namibia shares, of course, a currency, uh, given that the Namibian dollar is tied to the rand, I do see a large gap. I mean, you're talking about 11.2% versus here in South Africa, we're talking below 5%. Uh, yes, yes, the 11% the, the budget deficit, that, that's the estimated budget de deficit for the fiscal year that just ended, or that's going to end at the end of uh, March. But going forward, the minister is budgeting uh, a deficit of 4.4%, and over the medium term, the budget deficit will be less than 4%, okay. uh, which will bring the yeah. fiscal dynamics back into a sustainable trajectory. Sure, but what were you expecting? Were you expecting as large a budget deficit as that? I, th I think we have expected that the budget deficit to not to be as huge as it, as it was, but as the minister indicated, there were revenue shortfalls. Uh, personally, I expected the budget deficit to be lower than 11%, also because we have seen that spending did not take off as anticipated. The execution rate on the development budget was only 73%, so there should have been savings to, 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 to cover that budget deficit. Yeah. So how is the minister then going to finance this deficit or the large, I mean, a large part of the year is already gone? How is the minister financing this deficit? I think the, the deficit was mainly funded by borrowing, domestic borrowing, but the government also issued a euro bond in 2011. Uh, going forward, a large part of, of the deficit will still be funded by domestic borrowing. Okay, so, but if we look at the growth picture, it doesn't look as, uh, as rosy as uh, the projections that we're seeing on the budget deficit front, I mean, for, for, for the coming year, because we're looking at growth coming in at 4.9% uh, uh, by 2014. And yet, at the same time, we did see quite a sharp slowdown last year uh, from 6.6% to 4.4%. How do those numbers compare with what you have in your mind? Do those numbers look like we could see here a sustainable growth picture emerging out in Namibia? Uh, you know, I, in my view, the, 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 the growth projections seem to be slightly optimistic. Uh, personally, I, th I think that growth could be slower. My own projections are that growth will be around 4%. Of course, the Namibian economy can grow at a much faster rate uh, if we are going to implement certain reforms. We are also eagerly awaiting the fourth national development plan that will be tabled very soon after the budget. The minister mentioned about the first fourth national development plan in a budget. So hopefully there will be additional measures that will uh, bring in more dynamism into the economy. Yeah, but I suppose when you talk in about Namibia so and its economic growth, you have to tie it to the whole commodity cycle picture. So we're talking about uh, the expected price for uh, particularly diamonds. How do you see that playing out in terms of boosting government revenues going forward? What's your expectation for, 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 for commodity prices going forward? But for commodity prices going forward, a lot really depends on what will happen to the global economy. Uh, and I don't want to venture into what, what will happen there. What we have seen so far is that diamond prices are slightly if weakened since the beginning of this year. Uh, but a lot of our diamonds end up in the American market. And if the American economy continues to perform uh, as it's performing currently, then that should give some additional boost to diamond prices. Yeah. 
Now, before the budget was presented, one of the issues that you raised is that uh, there's this uh, burgeoning uh, government expenditure, particularly on that wage bill. What did you see into this budget uh, that suggests perhaps that the government will get a handle on this going forward? Uh, disappointingly, the minister does not really announce how to rein in the wage bill. In fact, the wage bill is escalating further. Uh, in, the, in the budget that's tabled today, the wage bill will increase by another two billion, which will bring the wage bill in relation to GDP to close to 14%. Uh, in relation to total income, current income, the wage bill will be clo almost closer to 40%. So that's really something that, that, that we are worried about. And I think we, we need to to, to, to find ways to rein in the wage bill. Uh, but of course, in Namibia, we also have a huge unemployment problem. Now, John, before I let you go, just give me a summary of uh, your sense of this budget. The South African one that we saw, uh, all the commentary that we saw suggested that this was a very born friendly budget uh, in terms of how the minister presented. On the Namibian side, please sum it up for me. I'm hoping you can do that in two, three words. In two, three words, I'm happy. We are seeing that we are going back to macroeconomic stability. Uh, but at the same time, I'm also disappointed because we don't see more measures to stimulate uh, private sector development and to make the economy a bit more dynamic. Indeed, John Stetler, economist at Bank Vinduk in Namibia on Namibia's budget day today. Thank you for joining us from Vinduk.